Good afternoon, everybody. Um, thank you very much uh, for this opportunity to uh, address myself uh, to all of you. Dear Deputy Secretary General uh, Ponte, good to see you again today. Uh, distinguished ambassadors, ASEAN member states, uh, members of ASEAN Secretariat, ASEAN sexual bodies, um, colleagues from the from the EU delegation, colleagues from uh, from Interpol, um, ladies and gentlemen. Um, as new ambassador uh, of the European Union for uh, for for ASEAN, it is it is amazing uh, to me uh, after arriving just uh, five weeks ago to see the level of, uh, of uh, cooperation that we are developing together between the ASEAN Secretariat and, and, uh, and the ASEAN Member States and, and the European Union. I mean, this is, this is uh, uh, border management and migration are, are extremely uh, delicate, complex, uh, sensitive uh, issues. Um, um, these, are, these are matters that can only be discussed among partners that uh, share a level of, uh, of trust uh, uh, necessary to, to start deeper conversations. I, I would like to think that with our first uh, uh, program a few years ago, uh, we contribute, Ambassador, good afternoon, how are you? Um, uh, the European Union uh, contributed to the, to the extent possible um, to, uh, to develop that, that level of, um, of trust and, and partnership. Um, obviously, um, as European Union, we are, we are um, Confronted, we've been confronted for the last 40 years on uh, border management and and uh, and, um, and migration. Uh, we have managed to develop a, a space of freedom of movement for goods, for capitals, for people, uh, covering 500 million people more or less in a, in a very wide uh, geographic uh, area. This has not been a very easy um, endeavor. It has take uh, it has taken several uh, decades and. Right now, as we speak, it is a system that is itself under threat. It's a system that is uh, um, confronting uh, um, a very severe uh, challenge uh, to, its, uh, to its integrity, and, uh, and that is also putting into, into question the capacity of, of Europeans to actually raise up to the challenge and introduce uh, the necessary technical and political modifications uh, to continue enjoying from such a such a space of uh, of uh, freedom uh, of movement, it, so it's with this um, uh, very um, uh, conscience and awareness about the difficulties that we are facing ourselves in uh, in Europe that I that I uh, that I talked uh, to all of you um, to congratulate myself to see. Uh, um, that you think that we still have uh, uh, a good expertise uh, uh, to share uh, with, with, with all of you. Um, I'm also very happy because being the second phase of, of a program, it means that during the first, the first uh, phase, there was, uh, there was a lot there that, uh, that remained to be, uh, uh, to be done uh, together. If I understand well, we have uh, one, one part of, um, of the program has to do more on operational uh, aspects of border management. The other one has to do more with, uh, with visas. Again, uh, both of them are fields that are extremely uh, uh, relevant and interesting for, uh, for ourselves uh, in the European Union. And I just trust that this, uh, that this seminar is, uh, is as helpful as possible to all of you in ASEAN and to, <laughs> to ourselves also in Europe. And that's all I have to say. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Your Excellency, for the remarks. We would like to kindly invite His Excellency, Siengla 